The first time I saw Gaia, I said, you're so beautiful. And she blushed in sunset splendor, blossomed with delicate petals, bloomed with scented perfumes, sang a joyous song in the throats of songbirds, cultishly played and skipped frail as newborn lambs in the buttercup meadow. She fed me from her bounty as her life-giving streams, clear as a promise, quenched my thirst. And for a while we were at one. I depended upon her. She was my everything. But in familiarity, contempt pierced our Eden. I grew tired of our simple life together. When once I loved her nature, wild as a storm, gentle as a breeze, now I wanted more. Control of my own destiny, the freedom to do as I please when I please. And Gaia, in all her innocence, was no longer enough for me. So I sought a different path, a new life, a new world, separate, far apart from Gaia, a man-made existence where I was in control. Or so I thought, as in doing so, I found her, my true muse, Mammon. She beguiled and delighted my senses. She promised to fulfill all my dreams as long as I gave her everything in return. So I took from Gaia to give to Mammon, but it was never enough. And in her loving nature, Gaia never refused me. She just kept on giving as I found new ways of defiling and scouring her, plundering her resources, polluting her soul, manipulating, bending and shaping her to my will. And the further I left Gaia behind, the more I wanted Mammon. I did not feel Gaia's pain nor see the changes in her how fragile she had become. I only saw the riches and promises of Mammon. In her despair, Gaia called out to me for help, for mercy, for compassion, for understanding, to hear her cries, to see her as she is, as she was. I cannot deny that for a moment she pulled at my heart. Shadows fell heavy upon my soul knowing what I had done to her and to myself, realizing it would never be the same again, that I am destroying us both in Mammon's image who put a price on whatever Gaia gave freely. But in an instant, regret and sorrow was gone as lust and ambition returned, so like a lovelorn fool, I never turned back. I just kept on going, with Mammon leading the way, and Gaia drowning in our wake. <laughs>